everyone, it's me Catherine and today I have an especially exciting video. One that in a way it's weird that I haven't done this in a long time, but in another way it's also really exciting because I can't believe I get to do it again. And that is that I'm going on my first proper trip and I counted 14 months. It is May 2021. I have not been on a trip since March 2020 and I don't even count that as a trip because if some of you have been watching some of my videos you would know that I live in Seattle, Washington. I went to school out in Washington DC, opposite coast. In March of 2020 I flew home to Seattle from DC for spring break and then I never flew back to DC. So the last time I was in DC I didn't know it would be the last time and I had to basically remotely move out of my apartment. My school was messaging or emailing me about the possibility of doing a in-person graduation and I thought that's not going to happen and turns out it's happening. So I never got a proper graduation like many of us. And it's going to be very, very modified. Only graduates can come. You pick a 15 minute time slot depending on the school because within my university, I'm in the School of Communications and the School of International Service. It's a joint program, but my main school is the School of Communications. So within like a two, three hour time slot that the School of Communications is graduating, I pick 15 minutes and that's when I go and graduate. And it's masks, social distance, very few people. I'm somebody that's just very sentimental and I love to go to important life events and I thought about it and asked my parents what they thought and you know I am fully vaccinated now. I wanted to do a pack with me because I love watching these videos and maybe I can give you guys some tips on how I pack because back in the pre-covid days I traveled quite often. I will say for somebody who's traveled as much as I have, I'm still not great at packing. I tend to be an overpacker. You probably will be like, yeah, you need to wear or bring less clothes and I get it. But also I haven't packed for a long time, so I'm a little rusty. And I, I love like having options when I go travel somewhere and I'm literally just going to one city and then coming back home. I'm not gonna be, you know, doing a tour around Europe where I need to really be able to carry everything on my back. So I can be a little more lenient with my packing. Okay, so it's a little messy, but this is kind of an overview of what I wanna pack along with, these are like the rejects, um, pajamas and like a cozy, I like to wear like cozy sweaters at night. And then my suitcase is over there and and that's my backpack and so I looked at the weather it's gonna be mid 60s to low 80s it doesn't really look like it but I did pack it kind of or lay it out by outfits so I have this really light white hoodie that I thought would be nice to wear on the cooler days and black shirt over that along with leggings I love leggings jean jacket for me is essential and then I have this kind of nice jacket. I think we're going to like a nice brunch place and a nice dinner as well. So I have two dress options for that. And then the Airbnb I'm staying at has a pool and they're letting us use the pool. I don't think I've ever stayed in an Airbnb that has a pool. So I'm bringing two swimsuits and a cover up. And then there's a chance it could rain. And coming from Seattle, I always like to have a raincoat with me just in case. And then I, the past like 2019 and on, have been really into like flowy pants. So these are a little wrinkled, but um, I love these pants. And this is like one of my favorite shirts. So I definitely want to bring these two as an outfit. And then I'll, I will probably wear this shirt more than once. And I love to wear it with this green cardigan. So that'll be a third outfit. And I'd wear that with leggings. Um, a fourth outfit would be this poodle shirt, which I don't normally wear this bright orange color but I, I i never see poodle shirts and i have a poodle so i definitely want to wear it so this jeans that's a fourth outfit i love this floral shirt so that's outfit five and i like to wear that with this green cardigan outfit six this pink shirt i have these two shirts here that i could potentially wear i'm going to bring one pair of shorts this is actually a workout shirt and then i just have three shirts three more shirts i know I'm trying so hard not to have overpack, but it's so hard. So I have this like butterfly shirt, this one that says adventure awaits, and then this one which has like food all over it, 
with like the cities that that food is originates from which my friend and I have mostly just planned for places we're going to eat because we've both lived in DC I'm staying with a friend at the Airbnb who's also flying in because she's not currently living in DC anymore also and I thought it'd be fun to wear that so and I like wearing those shirts with these light blue denim and then this is like a knit short sleeve cardigan that I love to wear in the summer because it's more lightweight this is the overview of everything what I typically like to do is put my clothes in the suitcase I have to remember shoes as well more important stuff like electronics I like to put in my backpack and then depending on the size of my toiletries I sometimes like to put that bag as well in my backpack but if the liquids are too big and it's just I'm not able to make them travel size then I may just put them in my suitcase because I am traveling for over a week so I'm going to now put everything in my suitcase and hope it fits oh, you're coming back you know that you're the traveling kind it's a known fact yeah I know that So as you can see, I just did a little montage of me packing and as I'm packing, I realized I have like a love-hate relationship with packing because I like to be able to plan, you know, what I'm wearing and this and that and it's, you know, fun and it makes the trip feel all that much more real. But at the same time, it's a little stressful. I do have some extra space, except I do still have to put shoes into my bag. Basically, I'm bringing this suitcase along with this backpack and I always like to bring a little duffel just in case I you know a lot of times when I go on trips I like to get souvenirs or you know maybe clothes or I don't know some some kind of stuff this case might not be so much the case but I think I'll bring it anyway um, just in case it's I think a good like travel hack to have to bring a little duffel but this backpack is great because it has like side pockets on both sides and it has this main pocket it has this was my school backpack as well so i'm probably gonna have to empty it because it has like old papers and then this is where my um laptop goes and it's so nice during tsa because you always have to take your laptop out i'm gonna put like chargers laptop headphones that kind of stuff in here along with this and I'm going to see if I could put my toiletry bag in here as well. Also, I like to, for like all the like excess stuff, like socks, underwear, swimsuits, like all those small pieces that you have a lot of, I like to put them all in like one cube. I got a new toiletry bag. I was obsessed with my old one. It was from Kath Kidston. It's like a UK brand, if you know, but it was, what was it? Oh, one of the zippers just like stopped working. It would not move and it was open and i didn't want everything falling out so like out of force i was not able to use it anymore so this one is like half empty half full because i it's hooked onto like the back door of my bathroom at all times because although i did not fly for 14 months i did do a couple of weekend road trips around washington state and once i ventured to oregon very very crazy stuff so I did use this a few times actually, but it's never been used on a plane yet. So it's from Amazon. I literally just searched like toiletry bag and this was like one of the top rated ones. I love how big it is. It's this really nice soft kind of, what's it called, mauve pink. And it has so many compartments to it. And a big thing for me is to have like a handle or hook of some kind because a lot of times when I travel, um, not this time because I'll be in an Airbnb and it's just me and my friend. But a lot of times I'll go to hostels and you're sharing the bathroom with strangers you don't know. So you can't just lay out your stuff and leave it. You have to be able to like bring all your toiletries, use it and go. But if you have it all in one spot, you just hook it on the in the bathroom, use it and go. So that's kind of a little travel hack that I've learned. But what I like to do is my old toiletries bag didn't have these two bits it had like one and one and one side I used for makeup and one side I used for just like 
toiletries. So like toothpaste, toothbrush, face wash, moisturizer, like that kind of stuff, skincare stuff as well. And I've learned just over the years to just invest in these go tubes as they're called because I would used to buy like a bunch of the like cheap plastic ones and they would just I don't know they just weren't good quality they'd be hard to get the liquids to get out they'd have like the smallest opening so getting your shampoo conditioner whatever it is into the actual container was hard and it like be hard plastic and you couldn't even get everything out it has a very large opening so that you can get your liquids in there super easily and then when you travel you can actually when you're traveling you can actually take this side pull it out and up and it locks in place and then it this can't open so you're less likely to have spilled liquids when you're traveling it's great when you put this on the counter you leave it like this so that all the liquids go down. And the last thing I'll show you, I went to Target today. I got a tiny loofah because I feel like these can get kind of crusty and I haven't traveled, like I said, in over a year. So I just wanted to get a little one to travel with and have it be nice and fresh. Because I'm traveling for more than like a long weekend, I don't like getting like the super, super tiny toothpastes because I feel like they run out in like three days. So I got like a medium sized one and I just like to get ones for sensitive teeth because my teeth are sensitive. So I got that. And then I got a mouthwash. I got a dry shampoo. I, I like the Batiste brand and this is a little one. I do prefer the colored ones, but it's hard to find colored ones in the travel size unless I go to Ulta, which there's not one super, super close to me. It's close, but I'd have to go a little bit further away. And I just was like, I just got that. And then I got a little deodorant. Everything else I feel like that I have, I'll either put in the little, in these little guys that I mentioned. For the most part, I'm pretty much done. Um, I'm just going to do toiletries right before I leave. As for shoes, I'm going to probably bring my white Birkenstocks because those are my most comfy sandals to wear all day because I think I'll be doing a bit of walking in DC. I'll bring my New Balance, they're just black shoes. I'll probably wear those on the plane. And then I have a pair of white sneakers as well. And I'll probably bring the white sneakers and the Birkenstocks in my suitcase, as well as, as, well as a pair of flip flops for the pool slash shower. I feel gross about walking barefoot in public places, including showers. And then I'll have to see, because I'm graduating, I'll either, I'll have to bring a pair of nice shoes, whether that's nude flats or nude heels. We'll see how much I want to torture myself. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that you enjoyed watching me pack a little bit and hopefully it was somewhat helpful or useful. And I'm also planning to do a little bit of filming in DC. I've honestly only had this channel ever since quarantine really call it my quarantine project and I haven't really actually traveled much um and like filmed so we'll see about that but I'll definitely try to do something get some stuff and keep you guys updated maybe I'll show you guys what is fun to do around DC because DC is like my second home and yeah thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye you've seen all the things all the places